Hey what's up guys, Magic Wand here and today I'm going to be showing you um, a card trick that will win this is kinda like a betting card trick, it's for fun uh, I use this a lot, it's really funny um, anyways, uh, stick around for the tutorial okay guys, um, so this is what the trick is gonna look like so you have the spectator pick any card uh, by the way, this is a very easy trick to do. Um, it's one of the most basic tricks out there, just giving it a little twist. So, that is the card. Okay. So, um, here. I'll put, it, I'll put it down here. That is the same card. Okay. <laughs> so, I'll just put it in the middle of the deck. Now, if I stick it in the middle, just like so. It should be lost, right? I'm not going to shuffle it. I'm just going to leave it there, okay? Now, I'm gonna deal some cards down on the couch, okay? And I'm just gonna like stop at a random time, okay? Okay, sorry, I'm not trying to do that. Okay, now, uh, I bet you a dollar that the next card I flip over is your card, okay? So, most people will agree to this bet. Uh, some people will not, because uh, usually they're like, oh, I already saw my card. So, obviously, um, I'll bet you a dollar. So, I say, okay. <laughs> okay, now that is the trick. Uh, now, in the, this uh, video... You're gonna make sure to tell them not to look at the card, or you're gonna, I mean, sorry, you're gonna tell them that you're not, you don't wanna see the card, okay? You're not gonna look at it in the performance at all, okay? You're not gonna look at the card, you're not gonna peek it in any way. I mean, you could, I guess, but it just looks more, it just looks better if you just don't. Uh, unless you have like a really great peek that's not suspicious or something. Um, but usually peaks are kind of like, um, why are you doing that? I, I don't like them. I just rather do a force. Uh, but anyways, uh, that's just my opinion. But anyways, let's get, uh, into the tutorial. Okay, guys, so how this is done is a very classic effect. Uh, usually most people who aren't really magicians use this to just kind of like, oh, I'm gonna look through the deck. Oh, here's your card, you know. You know, like, pretty much everyone knows a card trick, and that's usually the one people know. But, uh, so this is basically what's happening. So you're gonna have them pick a card. This is a free selection. Okay, you might, you could force it on them. You could peek it. But I'm not going to. I would just, for the performance, I'll just, I mean, for this tutorial, I'll just look at it. But you don't, you don't want to look at it, and you want to make sure the people know that you're not looking at it, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a swing cut like this and peek this card right here now I guess you could just peek it ahead of time and then do it so you wouldn't have to look at it but if you're just gonna go like this and go like and peek it you just peek it while you're while they're putting their card in so you're gonna memorize the joker for this so then you put it on top no breaks or anything you just leave it like this now the card you memorized that you peeked like the joker that is how you're going to know where their card is. Because the, you're going to see that card and the next card after that is going to be their card when you're dealing down, okay? So you're going to purposely kind of deal out like kind of messy. Like this. Okay, so um, I'll just do this kind of fast. Okay, now you saw the Joker now, right? So that means that is their card. Now, once you see that and you deal this down, you're still going to be dealing down. You're going to be memorizing the Six of Clubs and being like, okay, so that's their card, Six of Clubs. Then you're just going to keep dealing, and you're going to leave it open so that they can see it and that you can see it, okay? And you're going to go, like, maybe ten cards past, like this, and then you're going to go, you're going to go like this. Okay, so you're going to tell them that, like, you know, I'll bet you a dollar that the next card I flip over is your card. What I do to make this look like you're going to flip over the next card like this and it's going to be their card. What I like to do with this is push it off and be like holding it like this. So it looks like I'm literally going to flip it over onto there. Because like I did with the other ones. 
or if you were, you know, just like putting them on, whatever, however you were putting them on, just make it look like you're about to do that. And then it looks like way better and it looks like you're going to actually do flip this card over. And then you literally just, once they like agree to the bet or disagree, if they disagree, just say, okay, it's fine. You can just do it for the trick, you know. That's what I usually do. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna go like this. You're gonna put it back, and then you're just gonna take that card and flip it over. Okay? It's pretty simple. Uh, that's that's all there is to it. Um, just a bit of memorization, and that's it. There's not really sleight of hand involved with this. Um, I mean, kinda, sort of. Deception, more. Yeah, more like deception, because you're just like making them think that you're gonna flip the next card over, but. You already know which one you're going to flip over. But anyways, uh, that's the trick. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.